Okay, so today is the 28th of December, Tuesday, so we're coming up to New Year, fast and easy. Now, yesterday's astrological hours, the ones I posted at the club or said it here, were from nine, from what was it? We had a 9 a.m. one, so 9 a.m. until 10.38. Then we had a second batch um, at three, quarter past three, until 5.42, and then we had the 9.22, and then we we're going to end up the evening at 11. There was a bit at, there was a bit at 1 p.m. as well, actually, okay? I don't know if I said that yesterday, but there was a, yeah, there was a Moon-Mars aspect there. All right, not to worry. Let's see what happened. And today's astrological hours are, let's take a look what we've got. Um, now, today it's, it's 7 a.m. now, so by the time you get the video, it will be around 9.30.10. So 5.28 was one, which is already done. Okay, 5.28 was done. So let's take a look at forward. So today's astro hours are going to be 11.28, right? 1.26 and 3.19. And then we've got 4.50 until, got, wow, we've got 4.50 until 7.52. So that's quite a bunch today. What should I do? If you're going to trade the US session, focus, um, focus on, focus on quarter past, three, like 19 minutes past 3 p.m. Um, you can also, if you're going to trade the London session as well, depending on your time zone, right, where you are, 11.28, um, 11.56 is a good place where the market can turn, all right? And then from there as well, you need to check out 1.26 to 3.19. That's also going to be, 1.26 is also a nice place. Um, and also quarter, uh, and 19 minutes past 3 p.m., that's also a decent place. And then that will all lead us up to New York opening. Now, remember, today is Tuesday and many markets are closed. All right. So it's just the US that's open, actually. So even if you're trading the London session, I don't think there's going to be much you know, movement there. But still, turnaround hours are as usual, like I said. And then you've got US opening at 4.50, six minutes past five. I think that's going to be a bit energetic there and that's probably going to disrupt stuff okay we're probably going to have a disruption happening at 6 30 um, and beyond all right 6 30 and 7 52 uh, as well all right so we should be then um, making some decent turns then we're going to end up tonight again at when are we going to end up tonight at 9 27 and finally at 11.55. All right, so there are quite a few aspects happening today, but those are the main hours. So remember, what you've got to do is match your astrological hours to a decent price level, all right? So for example, let's take a look at, right? So yesterday, for example, you would not have probably not have gotten this on gold. Okay, so this was gold at 4 p.m. And remember yesterday we had um, three, quarter, 12 minutes past three uh, until 5.42. And this is right 4 p.m. by us, like right in the middle. And it didn't quite get to where we wanted it to get to. So, you know, if you missed out on that one, that's logical. And remember we're in an up mode for gold on pullbacks. We want to go long is because you've got target up there. All right, so let me just get rid of this. So what to do today with it? Well, it's a new day. Let's take a look from the weekly. Now, any pullback is good, but as you can see, we're like, we've got targets up there, so we're probably going to head up there. And our first target there is 56, right? Let's take a look. 56.20. And that is a price of 
1,828, all right? So that's the target there, 1,828 and beyond, we've got targets, as you can see, that's 1,829. So it's pretty logical on pullbacks, it's good to go long on gold. So if it does do a pullback again today, then you wanna be doing that at those astrological hours. And if your astrology doesn't match your technical levels, then you, know, you just don't trade it basically. Um, or you don't trade this one because it'll match something else. Okay, if it doesn't match this, it'll match something else and we'll see what it matched later on. So today with gold, you got the same kind of situation waiting for pullbacks in order to go long is an option. It could still come down to the weekly period, come down there. It's not, you know, it's not impossible. On the daily, as you can see, we've got a nice little setup here. We're still under that resistance level we talked about yesterday, remember? I said, if it breaks above that on a pullback, you can go long as well. Or if it does pull back, you can go long. So it still hasn't pulled back. It can do a pullback. 58.89 is your good buy case, which is 1,808. So 1,808 is actually a level which it has done right there. Okay. And today, astrologically, actually, 528. So this is 7 o'clock bar right now, 7 a.m. 6 a.m., 5 a.m. bar, 528. This is actually a place of turnaround, okay? This is a turnaround location, so not a bad place to be buying with a tight stop loss as well. I didn't have the smaller lot size than usual since we haven't done the weekly retracement yet, but what you can also do is, let's do this, because we're always trying to match price as well to price and time together. Um, what you can do is you can also wait for the future hours and let the PST come down and then go long as well, all right? So a few options there, but this is a pivot level there. All right, from here until, um, from here until 11.30, all right? Um, 11.30, 11.56, um, you know, we could be hanging around here as well. So that until the next pivot level, um, this is a turnaround situation. Okay, so just keep those hours in mind. Let's take a look at euro dollar. Now, yesterday, euro dollar, I said it's a bit tricky because we're in between levels, all right? As you can see on the daily, we're in that pennant. This is, you know, looking like it's going to go for a breakout, which looks like what that's what's going to happen. And if it does, you know, we're going up there and that's where we wanted to get to initially anyway. So we still got room to go up. You could buy at 47.47, which is 12.96, okay? 12.96, 47.47 on your PSD bar um, indicator. Um, and that is 12.96 is right down here, okay? Uh, and it may not get there, obviously, the way things are looking. Now, yesterday's astrological hours for this, I said, you know, this is in a tight range. So I said, leave this one aside. Um, the only thing that was worth looking at yesterday was the indices, which was, well, not even the indices. Gold was good to look at. And I took a look at NASDAQ later on. And that was also an option as well. Um, let's see what happened here during the astrological hours for yesterday. Um, so that is three o'clock. Okay, so we had quarter past three, then that's 5 p.m. Okay, so we had 5 p.m. bar here, as you can see. Um, 5 p.m. bar opened there, okay. That's, oops, this is your 5 p.m. bar. It opened there and it closed up there, all right? So that's three, four, five. So we're doing a U-turn from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. Remember, my platform is an hour behind. All right, uh, is an hour, um, is an hour behind my time. So when this is two p.m., it's actually three p.m. my time. So that's three o'clock, four o'clock, five o'clock, as you can see. And then we came up to five forty-two, and then the market stopped right there, as you can see. Okay, came down, and this is eleven o'clock. We ended up tonight there, like I said. 
So he has still responded astrologically as it should do, all right, that is how it works, because it's all done by the stars and nobody's doing anything. No robot, no artificial intelligence, nothing. It's all done according to the time of nature. Now, so that's about it on the euro dollar. And if this does go up, which is, that is what we're expecting, the limit to break out of is 55.17. So if it goes above 13.40, let's make a little adjustment. 13.40, right? Which is the, right? So if we go above the 13.40 level, pull back in to go up. If you still want to go up on a pullback down here anywhere, all right? It would be good to go long, like on the daily, on the weekly pivot. If it pulled back to this level, this is your daily PST. That would be good. What's happening on the weekly? Yeah, on the weekly, we still got room to go up there, but it needs to break out. You see, so a pullback could be good. If it pushes out, pullback to go long is also good. Let's take a look at US thirty now. Look at that. I said yesterday with the indices, these breakouts. It's like pushing up. I'm uneasy to buy on these when they break out because it broke out here, as you can see, right? And the reason is it's because it's like where they sold off before. So I don't like to buy where they sold before. See, these are all sell levels. See? So buying, getting into a buy here on a breakout is like too close to the resistance levels for my comfort. Mind you, we had this target yesterday, remember? It was a daily PST level. And that's where it went up to. So no dramas there. The only drama is if you're waiting for the astrological hours at 5 p.m., this is your 5 p.m. bar there, okay? So at 5 p.m., the market went up. If you sold here, you would have been stopped out. Okay, you would have been stopped out with a tight stop loss here. Okay. Um, basically, that's it because it just went above and beyond. All right. And it went up to that 11 o'clock bar I mentioned because I said we will end the night at 11 o'clock somewhere. And yesterday, 11 o'clock was, you know, that's, that's the place where change was becoming, you know, logical. So that's where the market stopped off. So that would have been not a bad, um, not a good trade, uh, but it would have been a tight stop loss in any case because we're going with time as well. Um, in terms of trading here at the 5.45 hour, it was not at the PST level, which I marked, right? So what we should have done is let it come to your PST level where price and time, they meet. Now, once price and time meet, then you see that's the level there, okay? That's the level where you can you know, stop and reverse. Also, you will note yesterday that this, where the market reversed is 10 o'clock. And you will note that 10.38, from nine o'clock to 10.38, 11.14, um, was a level, all right? So this is 10 o'clock. So 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, you see the market doing a nice little turn, going exactly to the PST level, and in between, stalling at that 5.42 um, zone there. But that was a nice little breakout at 3 o'clock, 4, 5 o'clock, it will pull back and going on. So astrologically, the timing hours work and the that twist came up, came along at the 10.38 after that 9 a.m. bar. So still astrologically working fine. All right. Now, what to do with the US 100? Look, it's hard to say because there's not much liquidity in the market. We've got a breakout and I'm not standing in front of it. And I'm also not going to be buying here at the tops. So sit and wait is better. All right, so just hang in there and don't do anything. Um, let's take a look at silver pound yen franc.
with all indices yesterday, you know, we just like break out, breakouts upwards were like happening. So now dollar yen, I said this was going to be a target yesterday. Okay. Since we're at the dollar yen, let's take a look at that. Because of the PST level, right? So on the weekly there. Okay. So I said this would be a level and we marked that in over there. So the market going up beyond the resistance is, you know, it's just how it is. As you see, this is the 11 o'clock bar. Once again, you know, market does what it needs to do and just breaks out nice and easy and just goes up, which is fine. Um, so slowly, but surely, but slowly getting there. And what to do, let's see if we can just, we'll still keep this. I just want to do this. See if this kind of comes up to our target as well. Yeah, it's about there as well. Okay, so that's like coming up to our target there as well. And we'll see how that works out, which is matching this target level there. All right, so on pullbacks, you want to go long. And you can now, okay, because we had that breakout. Remember, I'm not going long on resistances. If it breaks out on a pullback, okay, to go long. And that pullback was that blue line there. If you're using the ATM strategy, spot on. Okay, so today's pullback level was that one. If you missed out on the dollar yen, don't worry about it because I'm not trading this either for a while. Um, mind you, I don't follow this at all. It's just only if there's something like a really good opportunity because like, you can't follow everything. Um, let's take a look at the dollar franc. Dollar franc, nice support level there. Let's see on the weekly, it's down. So we want to sell this off. Yesterday, I did say a pull up would be good to sell. Yesterday, I said the first opportunity would be here because it's a weekly pivot. And if it matches your astrological hours, you could sell here, despite the fact that we had PSC levels up there. If you take a look at your astrological hours, that is nine o'clock, 10, 11, 12 o'clock there. Okay. And then this is one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock there. Okay. So the three quarter past three, is pretty much that's three o'clock opens, moves up there, and then just sells off. Okay. Four o'clock, five o'clock, five forty-two. Okay. And then the market's just down afterwards. Okay. So yesterday I did mention the weekly pivot because of its relevance um, to the way we trade. It's shortable if it matches your technical analysis and your astrology together that was a good level and that's how the market turned it's not a surprise because we want to push the market down a bit more with the dollar franc and that's what we're anticipating so with the dollar franc you can carry on i reckon with shorting um, with your astrological hours for today if it goes up to your daily pivot there because you see that's the resistance for asia and if it gets up there this is again sellable to go down, be mindful here. The reason you want to sell here is so that you can cover the trade a little bit when it gets down here. And then if it breaks down, this is where I put the white line, you see? The targets now match the PST level. So that's like the way to go. Let's take a look at the pound. Now with the pound, we had targets up here, remember? So no real dramas there. As you can see, that was all marked in with the PST levels. A nice little breakout there as well on the price, not yet on the PSD. On the weekly, we've got room to go up. As you know, I'm eyeing this level here. And accordingly, it's just going up. So on pullbacks, anything to do with your astrological hours, you can still do it if you're following it. Let's see how, did it, how this one did astrologically. Uh, let's see, it was at the support at 12 o'clock one o'clock, this is two o'clock, and that's three o'clock bar there. 
Okay, so 12 minutes past three, mucking around here and going up three, four, five o'clock. Right there, look at that, 5.42. Market then pulls down, goes back again, finishing the night at 11 o'clock. All right, so that's cool. It's nice to see astrology working. Um, and that's about it. At 10 o'clock, where were we at 10 o'clock? This was the 10 o'clock bar, all right? Remember, we had 10.38, 9 a.m., 10.38. So that's 9 a.m. there as well. So the market comes nicely to our aspects, coming in 10.38, nice and easy, right off the white line, and then bang up 50 points, beauty. Okay. So today as well, you can just match that in. Obviously, don't go buying at resistance levels, but you know, we're in that mode. So pullbacks are good to go long if they match your astrology. Let's take a look at silver. Now, no, this is SP500. Now SP500, remember this is a breakout and I was like, oh, okay. So don't stand in front of it. Just, you know, don't do it. So now what to do? Let's see. Let's put these lines together. Okay. And let's see where we're at. Where we're at. Okay. Top, top, top. So what to do? Well, I don't know what to do with this one. Like I said, we need to wait for this one because I'm not standing in front of it. And so I'm not going to be selling at these top levels. Um, when the market had a breakout, neither am I going to be buying at a resistance level. What to do now? If it pulls back to 56.50, then you can buy. You know, if it comes back down to 56.50, which is 4.735, four seven three five there you go that level there okay and then you can go you know long again for me buying at resistance levels is just is just not an option so i'm not going to go around buying where the market sold off before it's just not going to happen if you're trading with astrology <clears throat> this was your turnaround <clears throat> in the morning all right so the video would have been help to you because I did say, you know, nine o'clock, 1038. That's your 10 o'clock bar, nine o'clock bar, nine, 1038. <clears throat> Making the U-turn right above the white line and going upwards in that direction. All right. So it's just all a matter of following what you're trading. Okay. And matching it to the astrological hours. So that would have been, maybe you would have gone long here at the U-turn here with a tight stop loss just under that one. That would have been one option, but I'm not definitely going long when we're at a resistance level. Okay, so I will sit and wait. And remember, there's not, well, there is liquidity, but like half the world is closed, you know, more than half. So it's just the US that's open. So you've got to be careful. Okay. Like I said yesterday as well, probably better off waiting for, January to open up. Now with silver on pullbacks, we want to go long. Yesterday I did mention if it comes back to your blue line, you can go long on silver. See, if you're following this one, this was like gold and silver yesterday were exactly what we were looking at. There you go. See, this was a really good setup. Why? Because we're expecting the market to pull back. It pulls back right into, look, this is 10 o'clock bar. All right, it pulls in really nicely. And this is also the one o'clock bar, despite the fact that I didn't mention the one o'clock bar. But look, this is the four o'clock bar. You know, it's like, that's it. You know, the market opens up four o'clock and that's three o'clock there. So it's all sitting on the, you know, weekly pivot zone there. And this whole time period, matches your astrological hours and remember we've got to put the stop loss down here somewhere i said and you've got to go long in between these two levels here and that was why because it was matching perfectly to our psd level it was just a good call and it matched everything astrologically because this is your 10 o'clock bar market comes down to your 10 38 let's just do a little experiment and see 
exactly at what hour? 10, 38, 11, 14. Let's see where we were at. I like to do this with a five minute chart. It's like really amazing. Look, this is 10.35 exactly. And I said 10.38, remember? It's the 10.35 exactly. 9.35 on the platform, 10.35 a.m. my time, you see? Perfect timing, right on your weekly pivot, exactly what, where we're expecting it. And then the market does this low at 4.25. Right, that's exactly 4.25, and that's it. Then the market just moves forward. Bang, 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 up. So this was like really, you know, good to follow. And, you know, I made a note of following gold yesterday. So silver was also a good option, as you can see. Beauty. And then it ended the night up according to our astrological hours there. Let's see what's that. Seven o'clock. Eight o'clock, nine o'clock, ten o'clock. Nine o'clock is this one. Remember, we had nine o'clock, um, nine twenty-two. So look how beautiful that is. Comes into nine. It goes up. Comes into nine p.m. Nine twenty-two, and then it goes up to eleven. I mean, that is just nice. It's just nice to see astrology really works. So let's see what to do with this one now look we've got targets going up this is nicely breaking out was on pullbacks can you go long yeah you can um i do it with a bit more caution now since we're on daily pst target there so on any pullback again i mean like on your astrological hours if the market pulls back to the daily or slightly lower or just draw your trend line if you know technical analysis astrology is like really cool because all you got to do is just draw your trend line. Let the market come to you. Let it come to you. When it comes to you, it'll match your astrological hours for the day and then just nail it. And that is the best way to trade, as you can see. So price and time, that's what I'm talking about. And it's really easy to read the sky. So it's just like, you know, pretty cool. Let's take a look at Bitcoin and Ethereum. Now, same with these guys, remember? This, these will be like, I said, this is a resistance level. It's good to sell from here, by the way. And look, it's good to sell from the tops. Okay. And also, look, it's good to sell from the tops. And where are we? Um, At what time did it do that? This is your eight o'clock. This is your nine o'clock bar. How beautiful is that? Nine o'clock bar. It is right at your PSD level there. Look at that. Look at the precision. Okay, look at that precision. And look at the market going down beautifully. All right, that's magic. All right, it's not magic really, but you know. So technically, this was also good to come down. Been talking about it. Impulse pull up, short down. All right. Um, now, if you look at that, if it breaks below this now, 45.98, 47.732, we should get down there, 47.732. Okay, four. there you go. All right. We're coming down to those levels we marked in before. Okay, so that was a really cool setup. Astrologically, it worked out great. It's good to see. I think, you know, while we're doing this, I'm beginning to figure out um, what's beginning to impact cryptocurrencies as well. Okay. Yeah. So, because there are many planets in the system, I'm just making note as well what planet was there because that's an unusual situation there. All right, but there you go. We're going to check it out. So I'm going to keep an eye out for 
two additional planets that may be quite active in crypto. Let's take a look at Ethereum as well. Once again, beautiful. Shorting from here is the best way to go. Nice little up move in order to be shorted. Beauty. Once again, exactly at those hours. Look at that. That's eight, nine o'clock market opens. And it's just, let's just see for the benefit of the exercise exactly what time it started falling yesterday. Where are you? Come on, mate. There we go. Um, let's see. That's 8.45. Right. And that's 9 o'clock, 5 minutes. That's 5 minutes past 9. 10. And that's quarter past. And that's 20 minutes past 9. And I did say... 922, right? Yeah, 922. According to this, is what the members saw as well yesterday. This is yesterday's hours in the members area. 922, and we're going to finish at 11 odd. All right, 11.03. So there you go, as you can see. Nice little up move coming down. And we're finishing up here at the that is 11.40, that is 11.25, that is 11.15, so that's 11 o'clock right there. Okay, so market drifts down and then just follows it down beautifully. All right, so technical analysis and astrological hours, and those are your targets which I talked about yesterday. Wow, this is cool. All right. And today, let's see today, it's like being falling down, pushing deep, nice push down because of, this is what, eight, seven o'clock, we've got time. So this is probably going to go down towards 11.28, 11.56. Yeah, we've got, yeah, this should come down until lunchtime. We should be around here then, okay? So no dramas there. What to do with your Ethereum is this. That's your PSD level on the daily. On the weekly, 5231. 3797. 3797 is here. All right, 3,800. So we're probably going to come down to this level, and this is going to be a support level here on the weekly. All right, 3797. And you've got to look out for HCL1, 3670, which is the 3670. All right, so these are your targets there. If it breaks below this and comes to this, be careful because then what's going to happen is it's going to go up and then come down again because it'll break this weekly level here. So this zone is important. But if we break below that, you know we're coming downtown. All right. It's going to be hot. You know, I've been talking about this level before. Hey, it hasn't done it. And it's a PST level, you see. And when it's a PST, you know, it just wants to go there. Okay. So um, this is why selling out resistance levels was always an option um, for us on this one and on PST as well. You know, there you go. Bang. Same with Bitcoin. PST level touches their beauty right on your red line, and then bang, going down. We've got targets to come down on the daily and on the weekly, 45.98, the 45.98, well, we're nearly there, it did 46.96, okay? So we might see ourselves retesting this level, and that is what I'm thinking is going to happen. When that gets to 40K, this will be a support zone. We'll check out our astrology there and then.